result of a move looks at the end result of a move. And what they don't look at is what's going on in between, what movements are happening in between those moves. The other thing again is, is in modern times, all karate has limited itself to the normal fist. So it's, it's the normal fist, right? But we should be looking at the different fist configurations. So if I'm doing this move in Seisan, and now I decide, well, what, what if I put my knuckles like this? What could I do? Well, obviously, I can strike here. I can strike to the temples. I can strike into the other. But what if I do open hands? Well, now I can maybe seize, right? Maybe headbutt, knee, whatever I decide to do, all right? So when you start to take limitations off of certain things, and start to expand those limitations, then things start to change a little bit. And then you get to see more and, and understand more. And, and that, that's what we want, right? right. So, so let's add something to this, all right? So again, he can come in with a push is fine, right? I come here, I move in, right? So now, instead of hitting here, this is gonna be a sliding strike. And this sliding <coughs> strike is gonna be here. Now, if you wanna hit here first and then do that, you can do that, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is, right, normally I come around and I like to do this and throw him to the ground and then I'll take the elbow as a break. But we're not going to do that. But this technique we're going to do, we can't practice. Meaning is, if I do it to what he wants, his seminar day is over. So I'm going to come across, and this is going to be a knee kick right into here, all right, attempting to break his knee. So that's what we're going to do. So from here in Seisan, we do this, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm attacking his knee, okay? Now, you know, once I attack the knee, it doesn't make sense to do something like that, right? When I do this knee, at the minimum, his, his leg's going to move. Once his leg moves, now if I want, I could come here and hook here to do something, all right? But the idea is to eliminate the leg. So in combat, remember, you take away his ability to stand, you take away his ability to fight and harm him. So, all right? Um, you know, in here, I'm not going to do it, but in here, what he'll tell you, there's a point right there. And if I come over there and I take Sensei Calandra's big toe and I drive it into that point inside your leg, you will be on the floor. You will not be able to stand. Your leg goes completely dead. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difficulty with that? Finding it. In combat, that's a tough sell. Meaning, like, you know, I know all these pressure point guys. I'm going to hit this one and that one and that one. In the middle of someone trying to take my head off, it's all nonsense, right? But I'm using my nice big what? Knee. 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 His nice big what? Target. Mm -hmm. This I'm going to be able to hit. And I'm not worried about any pressure points. I'm worried about breaking that knee. Okay? 70 pounds of pressure to break a knee. All right? So with this one, you know, don't even, don't even hit it. Just touch it. Okay? Just make sure your focus is on it. You don't want to be practicing where you think you're catching a knee and you're a little behind and missing. You don't want to be here. Make sure as you come across with this one, it's here. Right? So question. Yeah. Just, and that, you know, where are Anatomically, you? Yeah. I want to hit you right, right here. Okay, hold on. I want to hit here. So it's right where the team. Where you do the strike. You want to tell what it is. Ideally, is if you break the knee. Now, let me just mention something. Okay. You could break his knee, and he doesn't necessarily go down. He may still be in the fight. So don't assume, oh, I broke his knee. I heard it pop, right? I heard it, and all of a sudden, he's still, he's still fighting. So don't make the assumption that that's what's going to happen. You know? I mean, I always laugh at instructors that go, oh, yeah, you break his arm, the fight's over. Oh, that's all shit. You know, same thing here. Now again, why is that? Adrenaline. Yeah, all these different chemicals that are going in his body. Adrenaline, cortisol, right? Plus, we don't know what chemicals he's got in his body that he put in there, right? So again, yeah, right now, we broke his knee. Three hours from now, where, what's he going to be? In pain. He ain't going to be able to move. His knee is going to be finished, right? That doesn't help you for three hours earlier when he's high on drugs or whatever, he's able to withstand that punishment during that time and he's still trying to kill you. So don't hit a guy and think, oh, this is over. No, make sure it's over. Put him down. Make sure he's not a threat to you, all right? So be careful with one on the inside of the knee. Make sure you don't, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, hit the kick there, all right? So try this one.